20,000 square feet of open green space filled with sculptures. Those who live in this area say Elizabeth Street Garden is woven into the fabric of their neighborhood. It's a place where the community comes for free programming. Uh, it's really, it's really a, a space that has fostered this sense of community. Now consider the garden reimagined as this. It's called Haven Green. The city is selling the land to a private developer to turn it into 123 studio units of affordable housing geared towards seniors, along with about 6,000 square feet of open space. There's a <laughs> dire need for increased affordable housing. The final plan was presented before a community board two public meeting this evening, with both sides of the debate present. There are 200,000 seniors on the affordable housing, uh, housing waiting list. I think we need to build on every site we can. But those who want to save Elizabeth Street Garden say the city should not be pitting affordable housing against green space. And the issue is so much more than just that. This is a city-owned piece of land, and what they're um, asking us to do is turn that over to a developer, which means that this would be a privately owned public space. This would not be a city park, which is what it needs to be. Uh, the affordability is not permanent, um, so that's a big issue here. You know, at the alternative site, we're saying you build it, make it permanent, affordable housing. But the city doesn't seem to be looking at other nearby sites, and critics add the greater implication is the mixed use of the land. There will also be retail and office space changing the neighborhood. Famed attorney Norman Siegel is representing the Garden Association. He says this is not a done deal. The Garden is an oasis. We also think that they have to provide an environmental impact statement, which they haven't done, and. We basically said that there are serious and substantial legal problems with this plan. Okay, so what's next here? Well, there will be a uniform land review process that starts at the end of this month, and then environmental impact studies need to be done before more public hearings. We will, of course, stay on top of this story for you. We're live from Little Italy tonight. Shirley Chan picks 11 News.